Hello party people, I'm Megan Spigman and you're watching Patty People Party Patrol. It is Saturday night here in Party Town and tonight we are here at a house party. It's the house of a very well-known gentleman here in Patty. His name is Colin Young and he's also known as Patty's very own Elvis. Patty People Party Patrol. People Party Patrol. Well, what is the reason behind the house party here tonight, you may ask? Well, there is a really, really lovely story behind the celebrations here today. As you may be able to see behind me here, it's a welcome party for Melanie and Phil. Now, Melanie is Colin's daughter, and she is his long-lost daughter, because until now, they never, ever met before, all her life. And he just found her, and he's brought her over here to Thailand for a party. It's a great party here tonight, lots of live entertainment by Barry Upton and the band and also Rose is here and I heard Colin is also going to sing a special song for his daughter from his brand new album. So I'd like to wish a very, very big congratulations to Colin and his daughter Melanie. Come on, let's join the party. Here I am with the lovely father and daughter that is Colin and Melanie. Well, first of all, I'd like to say a big congratulations to both of you. It's such a lovely story. And Melanie, a big, big welcome to Thailand. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about the story behind your reunion and what's happened over all these years? Dad first. Oh, <laughs> daddy cool. Okay. Yeah, the thing is that... Um, I knew there was some a child of me in Canada, but I, uh, the last time I tried to search, it was in 1985, when I was uh, representing the Netherlands in Chile on the Song Festival, and on the, on the way back in Toronto, we got an uh, emergency landing. I was searching for two days at the city hall, police station, telephone, dictionary, but I couldn't find her. I didn't know it was a he or a she. And finally, half a sudden, June number two, a special day in my life, of course, I got. Uh, I was drinking with a friend in a bar, and then uh, somebody from the newspaper in Holland called me, and he said, uh, "I have shocking news for you." He said, "You have a daughter of 46." I said, "No, my daughter is 49." Oh. I think. Well, no, he said in Canada. I said, "Oh my God! Yeah, that's possible. What a surprise!" So I said, "Wow, this is something. Okay, very good. Give me a phone number that I can call her. You know, and that's that's what happened actually." So how many years? 40, 40, 46. 46 years you were, well, you'd never met her before. No, she did a posting on Facebook oh. and in three days he got 17,700 views and people reacting and and that goes from one newspaper to another and from the newspaper in Holland to the newspaper where I was born in that city and then finally these guys did really the best and they talked to her in the first place. Do you know what? Good old Facebook, eh? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something, eh? This yeah, internet, yeah. I know, I know. yeah. And now you're here, you're reunited. How do you feel to find your dad? Most amazing experience of my life, absolutely. Yeah. And I never would have expected it on Facebook because yeah. I actually do social media for a living. Mm -hmm. um, I speak and train and, and uh, have a social media company. And Facebook is my least favorite social media tool for business. And I'm, I, I'm actually very well known as the 
Facebook basher, like the one that says Facebook oh. sucks, Facebook shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. And I have a whole new respect for Facebook now. <laughs> it must have been quite hard growing up without your father. Yeah, it was. It was really hard. It was, you know, for me, the big thing was just always wondering, mm. you know, just wondering. Who is he? What does he look like? Yeah. Where is he? Yep. Yeah. And how do you feel now you're here in Thailand? You found your dad after all these years. You're over here in Thailand. What do you think about this amazing country? It's a, well... Is it your uh, first it, time here? It's my first time to Thailand, yeah. Uh, the country is great, and uh, the story is a dream come true for me. So, yeah. And what do you think of Pattaya, isn't it? A, a great, it's crazy hot. place? It's hot. I'm very hot. <laughs> my hair is, like, soaking wet right now, but it, no, it's, it's beautiful. It's well, great. You've had a great time here. I have, yeah. It's been yeah. wonderful. Well, it's great to meet you. And also for you, Colin, I heard you have some exciting news about a new album. Yes, um, especially for my lovely daughter. I produce a new album oh. with love from Thailand. Oh. And... Um, Yesterday we were at the elephant village, we were driving on the elephant and the elephant brought her up to me and we went together on the elephant, it was a nice picture on Facebook, you can watch it on Facebook. Actually that's her with her husband on the other side and the second song is a special song, I rewrote the song New Endless, Endless Love in New Endless Love, my new endless love actually and uh, I'm going to sing that song for her. Tonight, yes. Right, well, we'll have to be there for that. And can I take this? Yes. And then we can show the people at home yeah. some clips of your new songs. Well, I'd like to say, again, a big congratulations. It's such a lovely story to hear. And Colin, thank you for this great party here tonight. Melanie, enjoy the rest of your stay thank here you. in Thailand. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Imagine Elvis cruising down Beach Road. In walks Bill Haley and watch him go, get go. And Eddie Cochran plucks him his guitar. Invites little Richard to jam in Pattaya. Everybody dancing. Good golly, Miss Polly. All the girls romancing. And too bad he holly. Oh, well, oh, well, they're rock and roll in Patia, rock and roll in Patia, rock and roll in Patia, come on, a rock and roll.